Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ikea if you're new and if you're not, hello, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a girl talk about confidence. I feel like confidence is something that's really important the older you get. And I know there's a lot of young girls who are transitioning from like a girl to young lady or woman and just need tips on how to better characterize their selves and their persona. So I'm here to give you some tips on things that I've learned throughout the years. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get started. You want to make sure you're put together at all times and when I say all times I really mean when you're going out and in public but also I feel like it's important when you're at home by yourself I feel like looking good is looking good for yourself not for other people even right now I have on this cute pajama set and I'm not even going anywhere right now but my hair is done I have these like cute clips in and I just feel good it's just making me feel so much better versus if I was just sitting in some sweatpants in a hoodie or like a baggy t-shirt then I would probably just feel like oh I don't want to do anything today but lay in bed when I'm out in public I recently started to just do my eyebrows and as you can tell like I don't even have any product on my eyebrows I just have them looking very clean and in place for the day so they're not looking wild you know eyebrows can look wild when you like rubbing your face also I've been really getting into mascara lately I kind of left the lash extensions alone because they're kind of annoying to me at the end of the night I like my eyes to be clean when I wash my face I want to get in there and with the lashes they're just on until you take them off I kind of just like to look more modern like you know I don't really want to go for a dramatic look every day I'm just trying to learn to embrace more of my natural features and not necessarily depend on things that make me look extra I try to just look clean every day but when I say clean I just mean really like my outfits my look my hair I try to put on a lounge sets or sets that match I try not to go out and sweatpants and just look like I didn't put any effort towards my day I don't go outside with bonnets on anymore because you have hair and I walk out the house looking like you don't care about yourself you're the only one that's going to take care of yourself and maintain yourself so therefore you have to remind yourself and just give yourself a little extra time to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and as a woman we have to present ourselves in a very highly manner to even be respected i feel like at least that's my opinion on it if you're going out looking like you don't care about yourself what makes you think other people are going to care about you like you don't want to go majority of your days looking like you don't care about yourself and then pop out that one day like oh yeah i'm that girl like no you need to be that girl every day because you don't even know how long you're going to be here on earth and why even waste time not feeling yourself like you have clothes in your closet you have like cute makeup you can play with or whatever like just make yourself feel good you will go about the day feeling so much better and so much confident you will walk in a room with a smile on your face with your chin up you know you will just feel like okay I look good and everybody else is gonna think I look good too I've been really into more basic clothing I feel like it just gives it a cleaner look and it's easier to just put outfits together versus having like the most drippiest thing on of course you still want to have your own style and your cute drip this is not me saying oh you should not dress your style no if dressing your style is what makes you feel good do that i'm just referring to the girls who feel like because they have to wake up so early to find something to wear that they're giving themselves an excuse to not feel good okay my next topic is how you talk to people that just defines like the type of person you are i really been working on my language a lot like no cussing because i just feel like that's that's not woman like talking like you're always mad and angry is like why it's just like not attractive at all you know sometimes it's like funny in the moment whatever cool if you're mad at somebody and you're like cussing them out they're not gonna get any respect out of you from that and you're just showing that what they did affected you and that you aren't in control of your emotions that just shows how much power they have over you and they're gonna know in the future if i do something that's gonna make her mad i know that i can get this reaction out of her and we don't want that we want people to think what they do doesn't hurt you when i'm talking about this this is not even me saying i'm perfect like this is stuff that i'm working on too in a way i'm really talking to myself but i'm kind of just like relaying the message because we have to learn how to reflect on our behaviors and know 
when we were right when we were wrong and how to grow from moments like that that's what life is about life is about growing and just being better every single day every single moment we have too much time on our hands to just act like everything is like it is what it is this is just how life is no this is not how life is because we are in control of our lives every day every moment we have to learn to invest in ourselves as a girl we are a whole bill we require so much maintenance and i know every girl it makes them feel good to just be maintained and we have to make sure that we are putting money aside to be able to afford that for ourselves for me that's what makes me feel the best when my self-care is up to date even if you aren't paying to get that stuff done learning to do it yourself it ain't nothing to get some nail polish a little gel kit and paint your nails and my nails aren't painted like i said this is me talking to myself at the same time but making sure your nails are painted making sure your toes are painted we know how to do this stuff it's just like we be too lazy to take care of ourselves and so if you can't afford to get other people to do it for you then learn how to do it yourself like my eyebrows i've never gotten my eyebrows done and i'm sure somebody could make my eyebrows look like this but i just invested in a six dollar product so that my eyebrows can just look on bleak and they do look on fleek. If you don't want to get your lashes done, invest in a lash kit and learn how to do your own lashes. We do not have to pay people a thousand dollars to maintain ourselves if that's not fitting within our budget. It definitely does feel good to be pampered. So if you do have it, then make sure that you're putting yourself first instead of other things. Of course, like put your priorities first. But I know with me, I tend to put a lot of people before I do myself. And so in the end, it's kind of like I should have put myself as a priority first so that I can feel okay about treating myself versus feeling like it's a hindrance i've really been into wearing perfume i do feel like every girl needs a signature perfume a perfume for every day and then a perfume for when you're going out i have been into very dainty jewelry uh out of like the big old hoops and you know like signature jewelry is cool like when you're getting cute and like you got an actual fit it's like oh girl you look fly you know that's when you have like the special earrings but every day like i just got on some cute pearls these are like my everyday earrings because it just makes me look like dainty and cute and girly so i love wearing pearls or like a cute necklace something like small i feel like you're, you should get your hair done once a month and if you're not getting your hair done once a month then making sure you're like maintaining your looks i know that's really hard because especially with my type of hair like it's like so curly and thick and it's really hard to maintain it but we gotta make it a priority and i get my hair blown out about every four months just so that i can get my ends trimmed and when i do wear my natural hair it just looks better we need professionalists to really get in our hair and that is like the best form of self-care for me getting my hair done having somebody like scratch my scalp i really wish that we would bring back beauty salon type vibes like going into a shop and be like yeah can i get a blowout and my nails done it's like all 70s or 80s like like that would be so amazing i just love the girl community that joy that funness that bonding time it would just be so amazing if we brought that back another thing is investing in affordable makeup i get my makeup from target drugstore like i don't have any pricey pricey makeup my face still looks good and i don't have anything expensive or pricey so it works for me you just gotta learn how to do it if you don't know how to do something youtube tiktok that would be your best friends you will learn so quick you just gotta buy the stuff and get it and if you got amazon prime order it from there and if it don't work for you girl return it it's that easy you would get your money back when we were little girls that's all we would do is paint our nose do our makeup and now that we're older i know like life be life in but girl we gotta learn how to step it up i would say another important thing is to invest in a cute handbag i know like we be into that them little purses but i had to grow up and get me a bigger bag because sometimes i be needing something a little bigger so that i'm not just squishing everything into my bag so i'll actually do like a what's in my purse video one day for my girls who have a hard time mentally or emotionally just get you a notebook and just write your feelings out I've honestly just stopped talking to people about my problems because can't nobody help you, in my opinion. Can't nobody help me with what I got going on. Only person that can help and change what's going on in my life is God. And nobody on this earth is God. I just be praying and, you know, letting God handle the rest.
People can be a really big influence on your everyday activities. If you're really trying to grow, you have to challenge yourself and just know that everybody can't come along if they're not ready to be on the same type of time that I'm on. It's sad losing friends and not having those everyday friends in your lives. You'll find the people that align with who you are trying to become on your journey. But you gotta get there first and you can't, it's hard when you're trying to get somewhere and you're pulling the rope trying to pull people with you and they're resisting. It's, it's just better if you just take some time to get yourself together first. And if you're mentally at a point where you can still hang out around them and they are not influencing your decisions, then that's when it's like, okay, I can be around you but if you're still at a point where you're very easily influenced that's when I would recommend taking a step back to focus on you I did my makeup and it came out super cute very natural very cute my hair is done I actually did the heatless curls I got the ones with like the little rope and wrapped it and this is what it came out like I even went to the gym and put it in a claw clip and this is what it looks like after the gym and a shower but I hope y'all enjoyed this video I probably will do more videos like this just to talk and like do my makeup I do more of this stuff on TikTok every day not every day but often I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see y'all later